Hi everyone, so I thought I'd do a bit of a different video today. I get a lot of people asking me how I find inspiration to do my makeup and how, um, what's my process like. I thought I'd kind of explain that to you today. Honestly, it can be from a simple thing like seeing something beautiful on TV, on in a magazine, getting inspiration from the environment around me, getting inspiration from some new makeup, which today I've actually bought a couple of stuff from Selfridges and I am very inspired by this lipstick color from Suku, so I think I'm gonna start with this. Sometimes I do start with a color, sometimes I start with a look in mind. It really varies, and you know, if I'm feeling particularly uninspired, I do go through my Instagram and go through my saved photos from people that I follow that I love. But yeah, today I kind of wanna start with um, a lipstick shade, and this is from Suku's new collection. Um, that they released a couple of days ago. This is the only thing I purchased because it was one of the very few things that were in stock. Unfortunately, I find that Suku's stock levels, especially on Selfridges, is really, really bad. It's just kind of gotten worse over the years, I guess, as Suku has become a more popular brand, which is great for the brand, but unfortunate for me because it just means that I don't really get a chance to try out a lot of the limited edition stuff. So this is one of their new Suku Moisture Rich Lipsticks in 11. And it's a beautiful kind of berry shade. The moisture lipsticks are definitely kind of on the sheer side. And they're very, very, as you would imagine from the, the type of lipstick it's called, it's very moisture rich, um, which is perfect for me in winter when my lips are not doing great. I wore a very, very matte lipstick yesterday from Melt and that killed my lips. So today I'm gonna use this lipstick color and then kind of get my inspiration for my eye look and everything about it from that color. So I'm, yeah, it's the color story that I want to use as my inspiration for today. Obviously I've got nothing on my face at the moment, but I am gonna start off with this color because it looks beautiful and I really do need to exfoliate my lips. I've got like dry patches in the middle, but this is just the kind of lipstick that I need today. It's a quite a cool toned berry lipstick, which is kind of perfect for a gray wintry day like today very cold and depressing outside and then I think I'm gonna do my base so I'm gonna do my base off camera because you've seen that and it's boring and then I'm gonna kind of look through my makeup collection and see what I want to bring in to complement this lipstick color okay so now that I've got my base on what I would usually do is do my cheeks my eyes so let's go choose some eyeshadow and blush this is basically the drawer that I have all my blushes and highlighters in and I'm thinking about using this one because this one has a beautiful mauve blush, which is this one from Hourglass. So I'm gonna chuck that on my desk. So messy, by the way. This is what this is what it usually looks like watching Royal Beauty Christie here. And then for eyeshadows, eyeshadow, I'm not sure. I've got quite a few. This is all well my quad sit. These are my larger palettes. I wanted to use some movie tones, so. Which ones to use? Maybe this very cute palette? Oh no, I don't think so. Kiko. I haven't used this Kiko one before actually. It's got some nice tones in here. So maybe. I've never actually used this one before. Maybe I'll try this. Mum gave this to me when she was in Italy and I've not used it. Okay, eyeshadows in here as well. So. Ooh, Leela. I have not used Leela in a long time. What about Leela? Maybe this one too. I'll bring this one out because it's got some nice tones in there that I like. I think this one has some nice ones as well. This is the Marc Jacobs. Yeah, let's bring this one out too. These are the ones I'm gonna try. These three plus the hourglass one. And again, sorry that my table looks so messy. This is really what it normally looks like. <laughs> oh dear. Hopefully that wasn't too um, distressing to watch. <laughs> My table is so messy. So I've chosen these three palettes, uh, one from Kiko, one from uh, Natasha Dona, and one from Marc Jacobs, as well as this blush from Hourglass, because I think that that kind of, they kind of are the tones that I'm looking for. Let's start with the blush, because I think that's kind of like the easiest step to do. I'm going in with this Hourglass Mauve shade. This is the shade Five Mood Flush. It looks very pretty. Let's try. Wayne Goss brush. It's what I usually use because I love this brush so much. And I do really like the Hourglass powders. I just find that they work really well. 
usually I haven't been really big into powders lately because I've been going in with my cream blushes but today I'm gonna do something a little bit different why not shop my stash kind of thing a bit on the nose as well and then I'm just gonna blend it out with my foundation brush which is always what I kind of do that doesn't look like stripes of blush which is what I hate. Okay, eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with the Hard Candy Ice Limit Primer. Lately, I've actually gotten some dry patches on the inner corners of my eyelids, which is really just quite annoying. And I tend to get this in winter. <sighs> what can you do? Because I don't know what I'm gonna go in with, but I have never actually used this Kiko palette before. So I'm gonna try and use some of the shades here. I think I'm gonna go in with this dusty kind of purpley pink shade. I'm gonna go in with this MAC 217 brush and just sweep that in the crease. It looks like we're going with cool tones today. I have never actually used Kiko eyeshadows before but if the long-lasting shadow sticks are anything to judge by I think they would hopefully be very good quality because I love those shadow sticks. Okay I think I'm also gonna go in with this deep purple shade just maybe on the outer V and kind of along the lash line I mean this purple isn't particularly pigmented or anything but it seems to be pretty buildable it's not a bad purple but it's definitely on the light side in terms of pigmentation I'm gonna just build that up a little bit more in the outer V now I want to also take this dark brown as well and run that along the lower lash line, same brush. It's a nice big mirror in this palette as well, it's always helpful. And to be honest, I'm kind of just tempted to leave it as that. Like I'm not really feeling like doing anything too complicated. Yesterday I did like this crazy neon eye and today I just kind of want to keep it a bit more toned down. So yeah, I don't know, anything else do I want to add? Maybe a little bit more of this vibrant purple from the Marc Jacobs palette. Maybe just a smidge. Let's just try that in this section. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like this and I think that's all I'm going to do. And then obviously do lashes and do my mascara and all that sort of stuff. And then the next step, which is changing out of my pajamas. Okay, so now that I've got the rest of my makeup on, time to change out of these pajamas. Hello. My room, my house is a bit messy at the moment. Okay, so next thing I do, let's turn the light on, shall we? Because it's a little bit, it's a little bit dark in here. Okay, so next thing I do is go into my wardrobe and choose what I want to wear. This is kind of like my everyday wardrobe. I have pleats from almost every single color family and I like to store them in color family. So I've got skirts and pants and all that and then tops here. And because I'm really, really pregnant right now, I tend to also pair it with something long like a dress or something or, you know, this piece which I love, which I recently just thrifted love it so much because I'm going for berries I'm thinking about matching as well so I don't know if I'm gonna take this too literal but I really like this top which is a nice purple top or maybe something black I don't know brown is nice as well love this brown I can always go with a good brown but yeah um, that's generally what I do I go through my closet and see what I want to add so because I've got purple tints today I think I'm gonna go in for this top I know it's a bit like I always do the monochromatic thing, but I always just think that that's a really easy thing to do. So I'm going to use that. Okay, so I've got this top. I've got this other top that I can layer on top. It's just like a really easy to wear dress. And then my maternity jeans. So let's change now. Okay, so I've got my clothes on. I do not have a full length mirror, so you can't really see what I'm wearing. Unless I kind of like angle you down, which might be a little bit weird. But um Safe to say I'm not wearing my pajamas anymore, even though it's uh, taken me a while to get out of them. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm back in my hobby room, which is where I get my makeup done, it's where Tom does his work as well. And um, the next thing I would do is choose jewelry, accessories, kind of things like that. And I have two drawers of jewelry. I've had people in the past ask me to show them what kind of pieces I have. So hopefully this um, satisfies that curiosity. Okay, so I keep my jewelry pieces in here. And I kind of separate them by 
silver and gold so all of my silver jewelry is here and then all of my gold jewelry is here and I really don't have that much like I'm quite when it comes to jewelry I'm quite picky about bringing things into my collection just because I yeah I I don't necessarily need a lot but I just want something that can go with my outfits like when I when I buy jewelry I think of what can I wear with that particular item and today I think I'm gonna go really simple I love these drop earrings I bought these from beams in Japan and they're just really nice lightweight easy to wear kind of um, earrings so I think I'm gonna use that today because I feel like wearing some gold and in general I think I do like gold more than silver but yeah it just depends on how I feel that day so yeah I'm back I've got my whole outfit on my full face of makeup my earrings and that's pretty much what I do it's nothing too complex but that was that's kind of like my process everyday process when it comes to putting on makeup I generally like to do the makeup first then choose my outfit then do the accessories and then go about my day just because I find that that's kind of an easy way to get a really cohesive look is making sure kind of everything is in sync and it matches and I really love a you know monochromatic matchy matchy look if you didn't notice but yeah I do love this color I think this is a really nice it was a nice uh, color for inspiration I think I might try some on the cheeks as well I don't know I've really been into lipstick on the cheeks so and it's also such a nice berry tone as well so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that in there just to tie it together even further but yeah that's really all I do let me know what your process is is do you do something similar or is it completely like opposite do you just wing it every day it's nothing wrong with that sometimes I do sometimes I don't honestly even just get out of my pajamas yeah hopefully you found that interesting I don't know if that was interesting or boring or whatever anyway thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one